Card visuals are great for showing your KPI values. However, you only have a limited amount of space. So why not make them flippable? Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that using only native functionality. So first of all, we need a new card visual. Now the next thing that we wanna do is add the main information to the card. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to put in the patient ID 11,000, click on enter and there you go, Will Gardner. I'm gonna go here to formatting. And then first of all, we go to call out values. Now I want the call out values to be in the center. I don't need the label. And then here in the layout, there we can say that we want the name at the top. And then right below it, I want to have a picture. And here I'm going to add that image to the series patient name. Now image URL. And then we can use a measure to return the URL to the image. Now let's search for the image measure, which are called image switch. There you go. And you see that doesn't nicely fit. So let's push it below it. So position, we change to below text. And let's also make it a little bit smaller. And actually, let's put it above the text. All right, and the text itself, I want it to be a little bit smaller. And let's also put the image to the center. Right below it, I want to add more details. For that, we have the reference labels. So reference labels, I want to add to the series patient name. Then click on add data. Now it's just a matter of formatting. I need to switch first to all, then scroll down to layout. Now the one that I want to have is tabular. However, now it's too far apart. So I want to push it a little bit more to the center. Now, cards, and then here we have padding, and I'm going to switch to custom. Here I want to increase the padding. Now, I do think that the extra information could be a little bit bigger, so I need to go then back to reference labels. So I do it this at the all level. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Now, I still want to increase the spacing a little bit that we have in between the reference labels. So I go to spacing, to put up, and here the outer padding, I'm going to increase to 20 as well. The next thing that I want to do is make it flippable. So we're going to add a dummy measure to the data field. Now here, my measure just returns the value one. We go to formatting, then we can go to layout, and I want to have a maximum one showing. We go to overflow, where we can change it to paginated. And that's it. You see, now I have a little arrow that lets me flip to the next one. So I go to reference labels, Make sure to select the right series, dummy. And then we add all that extra information that I want to show on the back of the card. Now, the last thing that we need to do is just to make it prettier. All right, now it starts to look cleaner, but it doesn't really feel special. You could just create that design in a different tool like PowerPoint and then use that as a background. Now, let me show you what I have done. You can flip to the back and back to the front. 